Good morning. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for coming. It's uh, great to be here, and the voice behind the curtain is one of the key organizers. Dylan uh, has just been doing so much great work along with the Students Association. I'm so pleased and proud of them for putting this on today. Uh, they've worked so hard. Give them a round of applause. You know, talking about future and community and change, that's what BCIT is really all about, and that's what you're going to focus on today. And I just want to give you a little plug for BCIT. We really want to focus on change, and we are all about change. We're keeping up with the industry. Just look around you. We're working with industry, with the aerospace, with other industries. But we're also focusing on social change through co-op experiences, global experiences, we really encourage our students and faculty to, to focus on the social change and be the change that they want to be, making sure that our students have every opportunity. And we're so proud of our 48,000 students every year. Just imagine 48,000 students who can contribute a positive change to this world. I think it's awesome and they really do make a difference. Today we've got so many students that I'd love to highlight for you, but there's one I'm going to introduce to you especially. Her name's Kaylee Miller. Let me tell you just a little bit about her. She's awesome. You're gonna, she'll be your MC today. And she's a BCIT grad. Let me tell you, she was the youngest student journalist for CBC at age 16. She graduated from BCIT School of Journalism and Broadcasting at age 19. Now, do you think she's fast paced? And she's also involved in a number of international activities. She's a student ambassador for BCIT, helping students look at, at uh, the career choices they can make. And we are so proud to have her. But she also was involved with international activities and was just in China working with groups to focus on, on people or students and youth with disabilities and helping them create a new future. And a group called International Women's Forum, you're gonna have this all day. <laughs> International Women's Forum, she emceed the youth uh, speaking for that in Washington, D.C. recently. She just graduated not that long ago. That's the future of change that we want to see. I'm so proud of her, and so is BCIT so proud of her that last year, or a couple, last year, she got the Distinguished Alumni Award, one of the youngest ones that ever got it. Let's welcome her and give her the biggest round of applause, Kaylee Miller. What an honor to have the president of BCIT introduce me. That's one of my life goals. So thank you for making that happen today. Um, I would like to thank you all for coming to BCIT and for the TEDx event today. Um, it's such a privilege to welcome you here. And I'm so excited that we're able to do this event here at the beautiful aerospace campus out in Richmond. Um, absolutely beautiful. beautiful. Um, as you can imagine, a lot of hard work and preparation has gone into organizing today's event and bringing it to fruition. And while we couldn't possibly thank everyone, uh, name every single person by name, I would like to thank BCIT as well as the BCIT Student Association and the BCIT 50th anniversary staff um, who had a hand in making this such an outstanding event. Um, I think, oh yes. So I think you'll all agree that TED has certainly made its mark on the world. Since its inception, it has provided some of the most inspirational and empowering presentations, both live and on the internet. TED presentations have helped awaken and foster a new perspective of how we view ourselves and also our world. We at the very least, uh, TED has challenges us to think about our own views as well as our own. All right, now getting back to today's event, I would like to remind everyone of Ted's mission statement, which is ideas worth spreading. Most fitting for our theme today, which is building the future. I'd like to present you all with something to think about while you're listening to our speakers today, um, a sort of assignment, if you wish to call it that. I know a lot of you are BCIT students, so I know that you're up for uh, a pretty good challenge. You did choose BCIT as a place to pursue your post-secondary education. While you're listening to our speakers today, think about these three words, building the future. I think our theme will resonate differently with every single person here today, but what do those three words mean to you? 
How do you plan to build your own future or your future for your family or your future for your world? As humans, we're all on a journey to shape our own future and we all have the opportunity to do that through learning, connection, innovation and society. Our challenge for you is to leave here inspired, motivated and empowered to build your best future. So I think we can all do that today.